and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make a garden gnome and I'm not sure what else I wanted to call it so it's going to be a garden gnome. I'm going to show you what I use for the body. I did not use, I use the sock but the inside is not all of the sock like I usually do. So I will show you. I made a little rake. I did buy some rakes and stuff. It came in like a set from Hobby Lobby um, in the doll where the dollhouse stuff is, miniature doll house stuff, and I can't find it. So I made one, so I'll show you how I make one. And I'll show you how I made the hat. You're gonna be able to make this hat any size, depending on what you use under here. And I'm gonna show you, it's very cool and very easy. I've seen it on Facebook. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did this, and this is gonna be no sew, okay? So let's get started. I will get this. I'll show you the supplies you're going to need. So you're going to need some type of container. This is from nylons that I bought at Doll, um, Walmart and they came in individual packs. These were 99 cents. So if you just want the container, but if you keep the nylons, I'm going to be doing some face sculpting sometime in the future. So this was from a rice pudding that I got at Walmart. And this is the same container for this. So you're going to need some kind of container like that. And then a water bottle. So your container has to fit over here. But when I did the head, I ended up putting... Um, some of the denim inside so it kind of filled up so that it would stay on. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. And then you're going to need, so you're gonna need a container. You're gonna need some flowers to decorate the hat. And I'll show you, I'm gonna make sure you guys can see. And you're gonna need a sock. So that's gonna be covering our body, some felt, I'm gonna do, I did wooden beads, so you can do wooden beads, but I'm gonna show you how to do the hands like I have done them before so that he can hold the rake. So you're gonna need pipe cleaners if you wanna make the rake. Um, if you want to do the little dots on the nose, you're gonna need some kind of a paint pen or some paint. And then if you have like a dull rod that you can use this to dip in your paint and dip it on your nose and I will um, show you kind of how I do that. I've done it both ways. Sometimes I use the paint pen and then I use the paint after. You're gonna need some foam for his feet, some blush for the nose, and I'm gonna use a wooden ball today for his nose. And then if you wanna decorate the hat, I have some like ladybugs and I've got the butterflies and the little bee buttons. All these are the decorative buttons that you can get and I usually get these ones at Hobby Lobby in the sewing section where their buttons are, but they also have them in the scrapbooking where the paper um, crafts are too. So you can do that. Joann's has them too, and Walmart has some. I'm not sure what they have as far as the, you know, little bugs and stuff like that. And then you're gonna need some faux fur for the beard, and you're gonna need some jeans. So if you go to your rummage sales, and find a pair of jeans. Get, I would get a big pair so that you can cut it up and you can make this gnome. Um, and we're gonna use pinking shears for a lot of this. So, and I'm gonna show you how I did um, his suspenders, okay? So let's get started. And what I've done is I have put some rocks in my bottle and you can get these at the Dollar Tree. You could use the, the beans. You could use some kind of weight. I mean, it, it should be okay. And then I just stuffed it with some stuffing just so those rocks wouldn't move around. Okay, so I stuffed it really good. And then we're gonna take and put our sock on. And this can be any, whatever you wanna use. So this is gonna be like his shirt. And you're gonna pull that up. And mine has a hole in it, so I'm going to make sure that that's going to be 
the front because it's going to be, it might be showing. So, um, yeah, because what we're going to do is we're going to make a little pocket there. It's going to be very easy. I, I'll, you can make a little pocket on here, so I might not make that, but I'll make that flap. So I'm going to make sure that this is the front so that I can get covered up. Then you're just going to tie this off. You can, if you want to use a rubber band, um, that's fine too, but I would tie that off with a string after um, because they can dry out and break. So I usually use a string to tie this off and do this kind of thing. If I do use a rubber band, I do use string after. Sometimes it's just easier to get a hold of it if you don't have much to hang on to to get a rubber band on there first. And then you can just cut some of this off. Leave a little bit so you don't cut your string and cut that off. And you can save this. You might, never know. You might use it. You could use that for arms or whatever. Um, so now we're going to take, and you're going to figure out how far up his body, and this is the same size bottle. I went up, and I didn't hem anything, about three and a half inches. And then you're going to measure if you want to measure around. And I don't have my tape measure that I want. Here it is. So if you want to measure around his body and see how far, how long of a piece you need, you're going to probably want to overlap it. So you're going to need, I would say, um, about nine inches. Nine, if you want to go nine and a half, just make sure you got enough. But measure your bottle. So your bottle is going to be different than mine. This was a body armor drink that we get at Walmart. So then you're just going to find... And I've already cut these jeans. So make sure you keep your seam, especially this one. This is what we use for the suspenders, okay? So we're going to cut this right here. And I need a piece that was three and a half by nine. So the whole width of this leg is from here is about 10 inches. And then I'm just going to go and I'm just going to mark it. So I'm going to cut this edge so it's with the painting shears also. But I'm just going to take, so I'm going to do that first. So I have my edge already cut. And if you don't want to use pinking shears, you don't have to. It's just going to stop it from fraying. And then we're going to just go up three and a half inches and make a mark. And I like using these chalk wedges more than this. This, I find it doesn't, I can't hardly get anything out of there. So to me, those are useless. So mark three and a half inches all the way across, however long you need it. And then when you go up this side, you're going to cut right next to this seam. And try to save that and then cut across your line. And then we're going to cut this edge. And we're going to try to get it straight. And then we're just going to cut for his little pocket. I'm going to try to find a smaller piece. I've got one over here. So I'm going to just cut this straight. And we'll leave it a little long. I will let you know how much. It, and it's going to depend on how big your bottle is and if you even want to make this part. Um, because I had another one here that I started. And I did this. I did hem this one. So you can hem it if you want. And then I just went over because I wanted a stitch line here. I just went over with the permanent marker. And then I did went over the yellow stitching on the suspenders. Or the, if that's what you want to call them, suspenders. Okay, so now we're going to take our bottle. And then you're going to need something for the bottom too. We're going to cover that bottom. 
So we're going to, and that's going to be where my front is. So I'm going to kind of center that and we're going to see where that's going to go. And then we're going to get our pocket and we're going to glue that on. So you're going to find the center. If you want to fold that, kind of crease it. And then you're going to glue your pocket right there. Or the flap. I don't know what the, the, for the overalls. And then you're just going to press that down. And then we can put this on. So you're going to make sure your edge is even with the bottom of your bottle. And then you can flip it over. We'll just put a little bit of glue because we don't want our flap to come unglued. So I'm going to make sure I get my hole in the front. So it's covered up. And I got some glue on the bottom of the edge of this fabric here, but I'm going to go again. And if you want to put a couple strips of glue there, you can. And then you can roll that. Make sure your seam is, your edge is on the bottom. And then you're going to do the other side. So put that glue close to that edge, but you don't have to go right up next to it. And then we'll put a little glue by the flap there in the front. Straighten that out. And then roll it and just make sure that edge is even. And then we're just going to take some glue. Put glue on this flap. And smooth that out. And there's that. And then we're going to take our suspenders. So we didn't glue this edge up here, okay? Because we have to tuck in for our suspenders. So I'm going to show you. I actually cut up. If you have enough on the leg, you can do that. And so we're going to cut this other leg. If I can get enough room. So I got to turn this around. So hopefully you guys can see this. Let me make sure you can see how I'm cutting this. Okay. So you're going to cut. So here's this seam that's already laid over. I'm going to get you closer because I just want to make sure you guys can see me cutting this. So you can see here's this seam right here. And this is flat. Okay. I'm not, I'm not a professional videotaper, you guys, by any means. So you're going to cut right as close as you can in here because there is a little bit of a ridge you have some where you can kind of get your scissors in there and just make sure you're not cutting this and you're going to cut all the way down i'm cutting all the way down to the crotch and i'll just cut that and i'll end up cutting that knot off so now when we cut this other part we're going to cut right next to that seam that stitching but we're not going to cut the stitching. And you don't really, you can't do this with your pinking shears because you want it nice and straight. And smooth, just like that. It doesn't even look like it's cut. And I have a little bit down here that I can cut off. So I kind of flipped it over. And then cut that excess off. And there you can you could use that. We're gonna use that around the hat. So let's cut a little bit more. We'll go up the back here because these are nice long parts. So you're gonna go right up. You can scoot your scissors right in there. I'm kind of got my scissors at an angle actually, so I can get in there. And then we'll go right next to that stitching. And my scissors, it's going to depend on the width of your scissors, too, on how close you can get. 
and we'll cut that off. So we'll need that for the hat. So let's do this. So what you're going to take is you're not going to cut this strips yet. You're going to see how long you need this. You're going to tuck it in. If you even have to pin it, just kind of poke a pin in there. And it's going to come over. And it's going to go from one side to the other. But where we're going to have it come from, and I put it in the wrong spot, it's going to be up here. So it's got to come from here. I'm going to back you up a little bit. Because i got to make sure you guys see what I'm doing. I'm going to get him out of the way. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna tack it. If you want to go underneath there, we'll do that, and then it's gonna cross over. So my bottle has like a ridge here where it starts tapering in. So that's where we want it to come, and we'll glue that for so it stays there too. And I'm gonna put my pin in here so I can get it in that denim without my can without bending it. But it's got to come to this other side. So I'm going to leave it. I'm going to cut it about that long for me. And we'll glue this one on first. And we'll glue that right there. So we'll let that set before we decide to pull it. So now we're going to do the other side. And we could just make you know do it the same length as that one but I like to measure it so I'm going to hold it there with my finger wrap it around and I'm going to cut it about there and then we're going to glue this one and I have had because I bent that needle I have had and I don't know where it is now um a bottle so I have bent needles if I have blades I put it in there and I don't know where it is so I'm just gonna stick it on my shelf up there so we have that and these are gonna get crossed in the back so now you're gonna take it and you're gonna tuck it in here in the back and if you have too much you can cut it shorter so it's not sticking in there, but you'd rather I'd rather have it too long than too short. And just make sure if you do a strip of glue, you don't go too far up here. I would I would try to stay at least an inch from this edge when you wrap this around. Okay, so just do your glue here and about halfway, and then when we do this back, that's no problem because we're not sticking anything there. So we just want to make sure we get this in, and I'm going to cut mine a little bit more. So I would put it in there, and then take your glue and squirt it in there, and let that dry, because we want to make sure that these are nice and snug. That one's pretty long, so I'm going to cut that one too. And then we'll insert that, and then I'm going to squirt the glue in there. And then if you want to go underneath, you can go underneath too. That's what I would do just to make sure. And we can even do that in the front. Just to tack that down so it doesn't move. So if you wanted to do a little pocket here, all you'd have to do is cut a square. And then you're going to you're going to fold the edges over. On all four sides. And it's going to get a little thick up here at the top and the bottom and the corners. And if you have to, you can clip it. 
I use the clips from the Dollar Tree all the time. So you get, I think, like six or eight in a package for $1.25. And then fold that over. So you got to make sure that your pocket is not going to be too big for the front. So I'm going to put glue in there and I'm going to clip it. And then we'll do the bottom. So if you want to see how big your pocket needs to be. So I got to cut a lot of this off on the bottom. But give yourself enough to make your hem. So I'm not going to really have any pattern for this because it's really going to depend on um, how big your bottle is. Um, and the same with the hat. I, I can't give you a direction uh, and measurements because it's going to be different because your container is probably going to be different. So now we're going to take and you're going to glue on three sides. And leave it open for the top of his pocket and then you can just set glue that right there and it's not going to be seen if you're doing a girl um, you could do the hair we could make this a girl we'll make it a girl because I've actually got some hair already done but we'll, I'll show you for a boy too it's not that hard okay so we got that so we're gonna do the arms and I have one already done I did it with the pinking shears and I'm going to, I'm just going to glue this down. I wanted to see if I could cut some of it off. So I'll give you the measurements for this. Usually it's like two, two and a half, two and a quarter inches. So it's about two and a half inches wide. And I wanted a longer arm. And then you're just going to fold this over. And I kind of hold it down like this and I get some glue run a bead down and then fold this over so you gotta make sure you get both of your arms the same width also and if you have excess like i kind of do then we'll just trim it off because it shouldn't be glued uh, all the way over anyway now i gotta flip it over this way Okay, so then we're going to take, and we're going to cut his arms off. I didn't realize they were that long. So don't glue your shoulders when you glue these on. So these are going to get, his arms are going to get put right up underneath the strap. So you're going to figure out where that is. And I always insert a little glue inside and glue that closed first. I always do. And then put a little bit up there half inch or so and then find out where that strap is and put that sleeve right underneath there okay and if you wanted to make these bendable do your um you could do twist some pipe cleaners insert them and then however you're going to do your hand and i'm going to show you how we're going to do his hand. I've done it before on my gnomes. So now we're going to take glue this one closed, squeeze that shut, put some glue on the top, and then put that right underneath. You have to lift that up. This one is a little bit snugger than the other one. And then you're just going to press that down. Now we're going to go back to this one and we're going to glue that strap. So you're going to lift the strap and you're going to glue that down. Okay, so you're just going to lift it, remove it. And then glue that down, just like that. So now we're going to cut some of these. So let me see how much I want to cut. So what we're going to do for the hand, let's make the hand and then we'll decide how long we're going to make the arms. So this is a two inch piece two inch by one, two, three, four, four and a half. And we're probably gonna cut it shorter. 
So you're going to fold it over just like I did the arm. Put a little bit of glue on that edge. And I'm going to stop you. Don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to need another piece of felt. I don't want you to glue all the way down. So two inches. Okay. So fold it over. And when you glue it, you're going to glue a little down here and a little here. You don't go in the middle because it's going to help us when we have to fold this in half for his mitt. And you will see, if you want to put a little bit Put a little bit so it stays. You can do that, but don't put a whole big gob. And then we're going to fold this in half. And now we're going to see where we want his arms because we're going to have this mitt go in there. So you got to make sure that if this is too wide, you're going to have to make it narrower. Okay, so hopefully mine is not. This one might be a little... Uh, Okay, so I'm going to just cut some off and see where, I, where it goes. Okay, so that looks good. So I just got to measure, make sure I cut the same. And you could save these. Those could be tiny little arms. You never know. This one's a little longer. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just fold this in half and see if we can insert it. And it's going to be too wide. Okay, so I'm going to take a break and make some ones that are not so wide. Okay, so I made my hand a little skinnier. And I'm going to cut some off still. And I'm going to put it in the arm. And I'm going to put it in there. Okay, I made my arms really skinny. You might have to take your scissors and poke it in. So don't put your glue in there first. Because I kind of did that with that one and I had a little bit of a problem getting my hand in. So do that. Make sure they're the same. Wipe off your glue tip. And then insert it in here and move it back and forth and squeeze some glue in there and then press it down. And then do that to the other side. Clean it off if you have to clean it off again. And then squirt it in there. Move it around. And don't squirt too much. So it's going to come squirting out. Wipe it off before it dries. So we wipe our glue gun off. Because if we stick it in there and there's glue on. It's going to get on your hand. <clears throat> so that's why I always have a box of Kleenex. So in this one I've already done. So, I don't know why I thought I was going to have to glue it. Okay, so, by doing his hands that way, now he, or she, she's going to, it's going to be a she, is able to hang on to the rake. Just like that. If she, if you wanted them to, they could be like that. How cool, I think that's kind of cool, you guys. Okay, so we'll take the rake away. So now we're going to do the hat. And I know one of my subscribers has been waiting for this. So I'm going to decide, and I think I have used, I used this one, which came from the nylons. So these are your options. This is from a Jell-O Dole um, Jell-O cup. And these, I haven't used these yet, but I want to. I'm going to use these for hats, and I think I know which gnome I'm going to use it on. And these are um, mini square bowls. I don't think that's a bowl. Um, that you get from the Dollar Tree. You get six for a dollar twenty-five. And I've already, and I've gotten these ones are the same. These are mini round bowls. Okay, so it did say square bowls. You can use this. I've used this on a gnome I'm going to do, you guys. It's a golfing gnome. He turned out, oh my god, he turned out so cute. And I did a hunting gnome, a fishing gnome, and 
a hockey gnome and they I made it for a friend of ours um, who's a male and he gave it to a friend of his who's a male I gave the, the man um, it was his birthday and I gave him the fishing one and then our friend he said I want you to make the hockey the golfing and the hunting for him and I had not made I kind of made a hunting but I made them they really turned out cute so I'm gonna do videos so you could do this one also so um, we'll do this one we'll do this one so anything like that you could use a yogurt container I started saving these bigger yogurt containers because you can do the same thing I've, and I've got some other ideas for hats using these so I have become a hoarder at collecting these so even this this is um, this is a Rubbermaid container that could be used you could use that too so we're gonna do this one so what you're gonna need I'm gonna get everything out of the way you're gonna need to grab your jeans again and we're gonna have to cut a circle Let's see, well, we'll just keep working on this one leg here. And we're going to, and I'm a little short on this strip to go around the hat. And I'm going to show you how we're going to work around that. So you're going to need a strip. I would flip it this way, a circle that is going to get tucked in. Okay. So if you want to kind of guess, if you bring it up, if you want to bring it up, get your where I would make a mark where you're going to put your bowl, okay, or your hat, so that you know. And you're going to bring it up, and then I would make a mark where you have to cut it, okay? And I would do that all the way around so that you have some idea. And I just thought of this. This is just a, an easy way without measuring. So if you just hold it there, and bring it up because we have to have enough to tuck in then you can kind of get the idea and eyeball it all the way around okay and I could have gone down here further so I didn't waste this so now you're gonna cut this out this you want to cut um, you can cut it with pinking shears it doesn't matter but I'm just gonna cut it with regular scissors and this edge is gonna get tucked in the little bowl so it's not going to be seen. So if it's not perfect, don't worry about it. And then keep your jeans close by because we're going to need them again. So now we've got this. And we're going to put that in the middle. And we're going to glue this on. And there's a little bit of a ridge on there. It doesn't matter. Make sure you center it. And then you want try to tuck it in first and see how it's going to work out. Some people, they make slits and then cut it, tuck it in. Um, you can do side to side and then kind of pull the rest of this in. And if you have that on the, the hat, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Make this easy. So I'm going to glue a little bit here at the edge. And I'm going to take, and be careful, tuck that in. I'm going to do the other edge. I'm going to make sure you guys can see this. And you're going to glue that in. I'm going to get you a little closer. And then we're just going to take and go over. I'm going to peel that back a little bit. And you're going to take this in. So you're going to have to glue on part of that where you put it in. And you're going to tuck that down. And you're going to kind of keep working your way around on the one side. So you're going to have to put some glue on the flap right down in here that you've already glued. Okay. And then some underneath there. And then just grab the rest of that. It doesn't have to be perfect. And glue that down any way you have to. And once we shove it on the head, it will get 
glued down there. But you have to make sure you still have room for it to go on your head, okay? So now we're going to go to the other side. I'm going to peel a little bit of that back. I'm going to first put glue inside there and fold that down in there. So put some glue inside on the bowl and then kind of on that preview on the flap that you just did. You might have to pull this back a little bit. So can glue inside that flap and down there and just be careful you know where the glue is in your fingers. And if you want to spread this one out a little bit, put some glue in there, wherever you have to so you can get those glue flaps to glue down. Just be careful of the hot glue. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? Because once you get it on there, and get your hat made. Okay, so now what we're going to do, and you can... If you have some of the patterns from my PDFs, you probably have circles, okay? So what you're going to do is grab your jeans, keep this strap, we can't lose that. And you're going to need, let's see if we have any, nope, we're going to have to go to the other leg. This is why you want a big pair of pants. So we're going to have, we're going to flip it over if we're going to mark it. So we need to make the brim okay so we have to have a circle big enough and then we're going to cut the inner part out and it's going to fit over and you will see that so we're going to try to get so you're going to have to figure out i'm going to see because i've got these circle these are from um creative memories so i think if i use this one and just mark it that's going to be the perfect size. I love these chalk marks um, wedges, you guys. They work so much better than those pencils. It just They just don't work on fabric for me. So now we have that. Okay. And if you can kind of keep your hat. If you, have a, if you find a circle that works, make a pattern for yourself so that you always have it. And I started keeping my patterns in here. I know this is needs to go through, but I mean, it's not all patterns, but that's generally where I keep them. I have them in a notebook, a three ring binder, but I just need to organize them a little bit better. So we're gonna keep this here and then lift that off. If you make a circle, you don't have to cut the hole in the middle, but you're going to have to kind of measure this part here. So we're just going to kind of roughly go around. And then when we cut this, we're going to cut it smaller than the mark. Okay, we're going to cut it smaller. So you're just going to pinch this and make a slit. And we're going to cut it smaller. We can always cut it bigger, you guys. Okay. So I got gnomes in the way and everything. So just go around the circle in the inside. We're going to do the inside first. We could cut this side circle out. Let's cut, this, let's cut this out. And I'm actually going to use this if you want to use the pinking shears. So then it won't fray. I'm just going to cut... So I can get rid of these. So let's finish cutting our circle out. And you're going to cut right on that line. And if you want to practice this hat on some, some um, scrap fabric that you have, um, some heavier fabric, you could use fleece if you wanted so that you don't wreck your jeans or buy a couple, buy two, three pair of jeans when you go to the rummage sales. That's the cheapest place to get them. So now we're gonna cut this inner circle, but we're gonna make sure that we're kind of making it nice and tidy, neat, but we're cutting it smaller 
We're not going all the way out to this line where we drew right there, okay? And I can see already that I'm going to have to, maybe not. No, it'll be okay. So that's what I wanted, okay? So when you put it on, like we had it, we had our circle. Even if I used, um, if I have any. See, here's my pattern, you guys. I make them out of, out of chipboard. And if I had this circle, this was the only size, but I need it bigger, I just make my mark larger, okay? I just take my chalk mark and I just mark around. And then when you cut it, cut that circle, that edge neat. Okay, so, and then you can mark your circles. And then if you want to do one for the inner one, like I said, we, we held, I we used this. You don't have to buy these. And then I held this here, so we took that off and I roughly marked around the edge. And then we cut it smaller. Okay, so I cut it about, it's about a half inch smaller than this, okay? And then it just nice and fits on there nice and snug. That's exactly what we want, you guys. How cool is this? See, now we have this raw edge. What are we going to do? You got it. We're going to cover this up. But this is our, this is my mistake, okay? Because I wasn't thinking, but it's okay. So what we're going to do is, and I'm going to make sure I have, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. I'm going to put this side. This is where my flower is going to go, okay? So I can cover all that up. Nobody will ever know. So wherever I start and end, so you're going to put glue on this. But you know what we're going to do first is we're going to go under here and we're going to glue this on a little bit. And I know my glue is going to dry on there. So just go around your edge. Just roll that up just a little bit. And if you can quickly go around. And then kind of pull that down. And press it in place. Okay, so that will hold all that. This is all going to get covered up. It's all going to be on the bottle. Okay, so now i got to take and warm my glue up there. And I'm just going to start wherever. If you got a nice part of the broom you like, that's fine. And don't put too much glue because mine is kind of squeezing out. But you're going to make sure that you're covering this raw edge with your strip. So put your glue, I would put your glue right on that raw edge. Bring my glue gun over here and then pull that and press it down and then peel that back because when you press it down that glue kind of squeezes and spreads out okay so yeah I'm going to be short I could I could add a piece in there um, but I'm just going to cover it with my flower. So it's no big deal. Nobody's going to know. So that's. So now you know. If you ever have something and you're too short. You can cover it up. Embellish it. Okay. And I'm just going to take and put a little bit of glue in here. Just a little bit. So there's that. So we're going to make a girl. We'll see. We'll see if I'm going to like this or not. Um, so her nose. I, I, I. I'm gonna get a different nose because I didn't like the markings on that one, and I'm kind of picky. So, so I got these on sale at Christmas time at Joann's. They were I think 50% off, and of course some of you guys have gotten them in my D stash videos. So now you can take and put the hat on and it fits on perfect isn't that cute so we're gonna make a girl so now we're gonna figure out where her nose is gonna go and of course I had to pick one that had glue on it so I'm just gonna try to try to scrape it off I 
So you're going to glue, figure out where you want, put her hat on, where her nose is going to be, and it's going to be right up underneath her hat. Okay, so my nose is going to go right here, and you're going to put your glue on, and you are going to hold it. You're going to make sure you get it centered. You're going to hold it. You want to put her hat on and see where that nose goes. That's fine, but we're going to leave some room for her hair too. Okay, and her hair, I'll probably have to try to remember to leave myself a note. Her hair is the same way I did it in my graduation gnome video. So I will link that below. So you're going to hang on to this because if we don't, with the wooden bead being heavy, it's going to fall right off. Okay, this is going to be a little bit longer video than I thought. Okay. Well, let me see how we're doing. Yeah, we're at 45 minutes. Oh, well. Okay, so now we got her hat. And here's her hair. I'm going to trim her bangs a little bit. And I'm going to bring my garbage can up here so I can kind of do it over the garbage can. So I'm going to trim her bangs a little bit. Let me see. I'll do it over the tray here so I can kind of show you. So what I do is I've sewed this yarn on and I don't know where I got it. They have some similar at Hobby Lobby. So it's a wavy yarn and it's kind of wrapped with thread. So I put some longer ones on each end for her sides and then the shorter ones in the middle for her bangs and I've cut it and then I'm going to cut these sides at an angle and I think what I might do is add hair to the back of her um, and then you can flip this around depends on if you're left handed or right handed. But I did this on my graduation gnome, and I thought it turned out very cute. So I liked this better than the the, the pigtail kind of things. Of course, I did pigtails on my um, Valentine gnomes, and I used string and thread and yarn and fabric even and for hers, and it did turn out very cute. Okay, so I'm going to... So I like to do it at a nice angle. I used to be a hairdresser, so I kind of know what I'm doing. And I get pretty picky. Okay, so now we're going to take our gnome. And this is going to get glued right on here. What I think I'm going to do, because this is loose, I'm going to make a little slit right there. And I'm going to put my glue gun in here and put glue there. So I would do that because this is going to get covered up by hair, you guys. Okay? So do that. Make a little slit and put some glue in there so that that nose isn't wobbly. So that's how we... Because it's going to get covered. I know I just said that, but... So there we go. We're going to let that sit. Oh my gosh, she's got long hair. Her hair doesn't need to be that long. And then I would, some of this on the side, I actually fold it up and glue it to itself. So I would take it and fold those in and glue those. And you can play with it and cut it um, however long or short you want. Okay, so let's take these two side tabs and we're going to glue those and fold them in just like that. I think I'm going to cut the back of this right here a little bit. I think it's too wide. 
for behind her nose. So you kind of got to try it on before you glue it because there's not a lot of space here. And if you want to put glue on that slip where you cut it, they do that. And then you can see how her hair, I think she actually needs more bangs. So I'm gonna take a break and fix this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I trimmed her hair. Well, I added more bangs and I just glued it on. Um, and then I trimmed it and it was too long. So I trimmed it and you could probably keep trimming it until you have no hair, but you gotta stop. So <laughs> the only thing I don't like about this yarn is it's got thread, which is okay. If you see a long thread, just cut it, don't pull it. And so the circle, the, the I'm gonna go over the cap just a little bit. So this is three inch diameter across. My circle was about six. So try that out and go do a, a diameter circle that's six across. Go go double what the diameter of your cup is, of your cup, okay? So like if I used this one, this is three. If I use the smaller one, I'm trying to get it off. If I used this one, this is about two and a half, so I could do a five inch circle. And then you're gonna cut the inner circle of your hat a half inch smaller than we measured it, okay? So a half inch smaller. Okay, so back to her. So we have her hair and I'm just gonna glue it on her nose right in the middle. And I had to, uh, I wanted to cut that off. Okay, so I have this piece right here and I need to cut that off. And hopefully I'm not gonna get my scissors and my glue. But you gotta make sure you don't cut the hair either. So I cut most of it off. So you're gonna have a really thin strip. Um, or you can just glue it to the nose if you want to do that too. And that's what I did in the first graduation gnome I did that I did the video on was I just glued the hair to the nose. So now I'm taking some glue and I'm just going to go um, and put it on the side of the hair just so I can keep that and some of that bang so we can get that. And just make sure it's even. And like I said, you could trim her hair and cut it until you have no hair and she's bald. And if you wanted to add little bows in her hair, you can do that too. So now we have her arms on. So we're going to put her hat on. I'm going to put her flower on the opposite side. So her hat's going to go like that. So we're going to need a lot of glue. So you're going to put this inside. And this is probably the point, if you're using a low temp, I would use high and I am. Because we have to get this to stay on. I don't always use my big glue gun. I rarely do. Okay, so now make sure you get it where you're going to put that flower. So we're going to do it off to the side and make sure it's centered. Isn't that cute, you guys? Okay, so we're going to do a little blush on her nose. And we got another hour video. I'm going to do maybe the little darker pink. So when you, I would get, a lot of the makeup I have is LA Colors. They have it at the Dollar Tree. Um, and then some of the, when I started doing my face sculpting, and I'm going to show you my doll. Um, I got from Hobby Lobby. I mean from Hobby Lobby, from Walmart. LA Colors from Walmart. These were like a couple dollars, you guys. All these colors. And I don't, I haven't got a name for him yet. Let me see if you can see him. If he's going to stand up there. 
stand up. This is my first one, so his his he has a whole problem standing up. So I want to make sure if you guys can see him, I'm gonna I'm gonna back you up. So this is him, and I gotta because his head is kind of tilted down. See so his his body is all wire inside, and it was the first one I made. And I think he turned out adorable. Um, some people when I put it on Facebook said he kind of looked like Rod Stewart. So this is him. I made his ears, his, and I'm I'm really working on. I haven't worked on anything for a while now on this kind of thing, but. Um, it took me a while. The only thing I have problem is with nylons is my hands are always dry and I get the fuzzies. So, but he did turn out pretty cute and I made his whole body, his shoes. I think he kind of looks like a blacksmith. But, so, eventually I hope I can show you guys how to do some of that. Okay, back to our little Miss Gnome. So I'm going to try some brighter pink. Um... I thought I had the brush here. I did. And you can get brushes at the Dollar Tree, too, or look at Walmart. So they have some great colors. I've gotten the LA colors in, like, the bronzer, the blushes. So here's some these for if you need for eyeshadows. These are the brushes from the Dollar Tree. Very cheap if you're going to start doing makeup on some of your gnomes, which you can. So we're going to do some of the pink, but I'm not going to take all this. I'm going to knock it off, tap it off in the garbage, and I'm just going to go over her nose. And that's really kind of a bright, so less is more. And he could use a little brightening up himself. He needs a little bit. Okay, so we're going to save her dots for last. So now you're just going to take, and I have some leaves. What you guys can do if your leaves are too big, you can cut them down. Let me get you a little closer. I want you to still be able to see her hat because I think I got you kind of far away. And you can take your leaves and cut them down. And you can just cut any little shape you want. Nobody's going to know that it was not supposed to be that way. And I peel mine off of the stem. Okay. And I have to show you guys what I did someday with my craft area in my dining room. Um, I have all my beads in jars. I have... Um, even my moss, these containers I get from the Dollar Tree. Um, I have my birds. I have rocks. I just did this. I, I wanted to get everything. I have all of these flowers, you guys. I couldn't believe these. There's a thrift store about 16 miles from me, and she had these ribbon roses. And they were like a dollar twenty-five a bag, you guys, and they were huge. So you can, I've got more stashed. I just cut them and put them in jars. And it was just, I seen it because I use them. And of course, they're kind of expensive to find, or if you can find it, or if you, yeah, if you can find it. And I just about, I wish you would have had more of, like this sea foam green, but I got like, not very many. So you're just going to take some of these these leaves that we just cut down and glue them on her hat. So now we're covering up that spot that we didn't have enough. And I try to, when I am pulling my flowers apart, if I'm doing that, like some of these, I will see if if they have a lot of leaves, I will pull the leaves off and save them. And, but they have to be good ones. They have to be, not look like they're 
look at like they're really fake. You know, there's some that are bad and some that are meh. And then what I did was my jars, some of these jars I get from the doll um, from Hobby Lobby. And I had these um, leaves were from a greenery bush I got at Walmart. So I cut a whole bunch off and shoved them in these little jars. So I have these are leaves. And then these are just little stems. And I got this was on a greenery pick from Walmart also. So now I have some ready to go. And we'll just use a couple. And put in here. So then I have them already cut up. And don't have to sit there and pick them apart. And then we're going to take, I got a nice pretty flower. I don't know where I got these flowers, you guys, but I just love them. I wish I, I've got some ones at Hobby Lobby. Um, like this one on him was from a clearance. If I see stuff like that and I don't know if I'm going to use it, I still grab it. So we're going to put that flower there. And then I have a couple of other little of my pink roses. And I'm going to cut some of this stem off. I'm putting my glue gun in the wrong spot. So we're going to go right over there. And then I got a couple. I get these little tiny flowers at the Dollar Tree. They're, they have usually like a, a darker pink um purple yellow so whenever i see them i grab them because i know i can use them for my gnomes and we'll get one more i'm gonna put it right over here and then i have my little sea foam green one she'll get that one and i'll show you what else i made um i'm just gonna go over how i made it so some of these flowers, you got to be careful how short you cut the stem because then you're going to cut the wire off. So we'll put that right there. So there she is. And we've got glue strings everywhere. And I did put my, I don't know if it's my um, glue sticks, but I got a whole case of them. Oh, we got her feet. I got to show you guys how I cut her feet. Um, so, and if you were going to do, what did I do with her feet? I had my piece of, um, I'm going to show you how easy it is to cut her feet. So you're going to cut a piece, like a square, and I'm not going to have a pattern for this. I just cut, like I was cutting, like a foot shape, like that, okay? I'm going to fold it over. And now you have a pattern. Oh my God, you guys, I just came up with this. Don't, don't you just amaze yourself when you come up with something and you're just like, and it works out. Like the other day, I actually made, and I should show you guys, I made skates. And I made them for my hockey gnome. And I thought, you know, I don't think they're going to, he's going to be able to stand up in them. So now you've got this shape. Well, I don't really care for that kind of shape. So I'm going to narrow that in a little bit. So it's like that. And I'm probably going to cut some of that off. Because she's going to sit on it just like that. Oh, we forgot her bottom. Oh, you got to get a circle for her bottom. And so if you can get a piece and trace around it, I kind of forgot. And just trace around her with the chalk so I can just barely see it if you have to cut it bigger you can always cut it smaller sorry for the long video but you guys got to learn how to make a cool hat <laughs> I missed you guys I love you guys okay so let's, well, let's, before we decide to glue it on, we'll see how big it is. Okay. 
it, we can trim it a little bit. So if, if, you, if you put it on there before you glue it, test it out, and then make note where you need to trim a little bit more off. And then test it again, and that looks great. So now you're just gonna take glue and go around the edge of the bottle, all the way around and go in the middle. And you're gonna take that and set it on very carefully and move it before you press it. And then you can do that. And there's her bottom is on. We'll cut a little bit of that. Put a little glue right there on her feet and I probably got stuff in the way so you can't see. And make sure your feet are in the middle or centered. Or did I just move her feet? Okay, so there she is. I'm gonna sneak this in here. I forgot to show you guys the break. So I've cut five pieces of green pipe cleaner at four inches. You're gonna take and bend this one tip over just a little bit, not even quite a half inch, and then bend it again so you have like an L. And you're gonna do that to all of them just so we don't have that sharp edge. But these gnomes are not toys. There are sharp edges and stuff that could come off so they are not toys. So the kids, you need to make sure that if you do use pipe cleaners, that your kids don't um, get after them because they will get poked if these edges are um, not like glued or anything. So you're just taking all of these, you're bending it, and then you're making an L, okay? We're gonna put them all together and we'll fix them so they're straight. So you're gonna twist them all at the end here, just like that. And then you can straighten out these little prongs for the teeth. Like this one needs to be a little shorter. This one is kind of too short. But just make sure they're all the same length. I have one that's too short and some that are not, that are too long. So I'm just gonna fold that down and fold it over again. So you just want all of these to be the same. Just like that, okay? So this is all twisted together. I gotta make sure you guys can see, I gotta insert this, sorry for the long video. And now you're gonna take, first we gotta glue this to, I'm just using a uh, skewer and I've cut it down and you're gonna glue that on there and I'm not gonna wait for it to dry. You're gonna take, and if you wanna put a little glue right over that and we're gonna twist this pipe cleaner around. So it's gonna be kinda hard for me to do this cause it's not dry yet. So I gotta kinda hang on to it. So you're just gonna try to make sure that this hand, that your rake part here is all um, dried first. I am just I don't have time to sit here and wait. And then you're just gonna wrap it around. And if you have to squeeze it, if you feel that end, and I did. And then you're just gonna twist it so they butt right up next to each other. So you can hide all of that skewer and that part that 
with the green part from the rake. I went to a, we went to breakfast this morning. This is Sunday, June 5th, and we went out for breakfast. We went to town, and there was a flea market next to this restaurant, and this man had these wooden discs of a tree, of a birch tree, and they were probably like, some of them were this big, some were a little smaller, and there were about that thick. I got them for 50 cents a piece, you guys, and I'm going to use them to display. I will probably be in a couple craft fairs this fall, probably not as many as last year, and I'm going to use those so I can have some of my gnomes use them for display. So you're going to twist that, just, you're going to have to do a second black one and you're just going to probably have to glue it on a little bit and wrap it around and then twist it all the way down. You can have to see how long you're going to have to make it. So it depends on, see like this one is about where I'm stopped right now. So then cut that off. My cutters I get from, um, uh, Hobby Lobby. They're really good. They're like $22, but they are worth it because they cut through anything that's really thick. And I've got two pair because I couldn't find my one. And it's kind of funny because my husband, who's a mechanic, is an auto technician. And he's got his tools. And he's like, honey, did you have anything like this? So I need a tool. And it's like, I said, that's kind of funny. So, there's our rake. I think those are cute, you guys. So, I am not going to go through the subscription thing again because I already did that and I'm going to have to insert this. So, there's how I made the rake. Made. Let me clean up some of my mess. So, there's our garden gnomes. I made my riser and I use these all the time. So I had this little bucket and I kind of got the handle in the wrong spot, but that's okay. I put some rocks in, I glued them in. So I put the glue in hot glue, put some rocks in, put some moss, and then I just had some flowers that I poked in there. And the little buttons are those decorative ones like I showed you. So I get all of these are the ones I usually get from Hobby Lobby. And you can get them if you watch them, they're on sale. Okay, and I, cause I believe they're, what is their brand there that usually goes on sale 50% off. I can't think of what it is. So, but you can put her rake in her hand. Now that's why I like to do these hands is cause they can hold stuff. And we made them feet and very easy. And she's probably got glue strings all over. And there's her back. So you could take and put a little flower, if you had a flat one on her pocket, if you wanted to draw or paint. Oh, we were gonna do her nose. Okay, so her little dots. I got a, just a marker and you're gonna try it out. I always have a scrap piece of um, cardboard so that I can get the marker. And I think I get this from Hobby Lobby. So if I just do, start out small, and this is kind of hard to do when you're doing it from the side. But this, this marker works out better on the wooden noses on my fabric ones, it doesn't work out very well. I have to use paint. So there's her nose. So you just get these paint markers. Let me put the cover on. And it is, I don't know if it's by anybody. Um, it just says paint marker, okay? So that's what it is. Or you can just use your paint. So 
So there is our garden gnomes. And he had a little sign, but it broke. So I've got a lot of glue here I gotta do something with. And she's got the rake. He should have the rake. So that's how we can do the hands, or you can do like his, you can do the wooden balls. And then put the little, oh, we forgot to put something on hers. Let's do, we'll do a butterfly. And then we'll just put a little butterfly on hers. So there's our garden gnomes. If you guys like my content, click on that like button because that tells me that you like this and you want to see more. It helps my channel to grow. If you haven't subscribed, click on that subscribe button, click on the bell, and then that will notify you each time I upload a new video so that you can be the first ones to see it. If you have any comments, like I said, I'm not going to leave a pattern because it really depends on the bottle. I showed you everything, how to do it, um, how to cut it out, measure it. Um, so now you can make these hats. You can make these hats like this size, you guys. So we're going to make some different kind of hats. I've got my gnome series videos out there have started. Um, so I'm going to try to get this one done um, and uploaded in the next couple of days. Okay. So I love you guys. Thank you for supporting my family. If you have subscribed, I appreciate it and love you guys. I'm glad I'm back. It was, um, it just got to be a little stressful there. So we're good now. And um, if you have any questions, if you're gonna do, and I didn't go over really, if you're gonna do the, the mail, what you're gonna do is just put his beard on and then you're just gonna set his nose on his beard. So if we were to do it, so let's say this is the front of him, you're just gonna put the beard on first and then his nose is gonna go on there. Okay, so you have to make sure you know where the beard is going to go in comparison to where the hat sits on the head. Okay, and if you wanted to put the nose on first and then cut a U shape, and I think that's what I did on this one, um, maybe. So you can do it either way, just so it's in comparison, so you know where this hat is going to be where his nose needs to be and where his beard needs to be. Okay, so that if you have any questions, get just leave a comment. I answer every single one of my comments. Unless it's inappropriate, I delete it. I get these ones and I don't know why they're doing it. But um, thank you guys. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Love ya.